Good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone. I'm gonna sound very muffled today because I'm actually uh, wearing a mask. But as you will appreciate, we are gonna have a full day for you up here at Grant Yadams Airport. And it should be a thrilling, thrilling morning. Anyhow, good morning to you all again. We have some overcast skies and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely lovely up here. Beautiful wind conditions, fantastic. Really enjoying myself, having a fantastic time. Anyhow, this place here, as you all know, is a place that has mixed emotions. A place that brings joy and a place that brings sorrow. But the sorrow is only short-lived because it's only a matter of time to get back here and enjoy the joy again. So one more time, as I said, I am very muffled this morning, as you can appreciate. It is uh, mandatory that I wear a mask up here at the airport. So this is what we're going to have to deal with today. Weather did not permit us to get out on the road. So you're not going to see too much of me today, thank goodness. So here we go. Starting from the departures hall. This is where the sorrow starts. Everybody has seen the airport before, but have you ever seen it like this with no one around? I want to first of all say thank you to the Grant Yadams and National Airport security section duty officer or duty manager for giving me permission to come here today because without his permission there's absolutely no way I would be permitted here. And thank you to all the security personnel that I spoke to this morning. You really showed me that you all know to handle people and handle them very, very well. So kudos to you all. Great at this time of morning to see people that are as alert and as happy and friendly as I am. Before we start our walk this morning, we're gonna do our serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not mine, be done, or ours be done. Amen. Okay, everyone, today we are using our Smooth 4. Now, remember, I haven't had much practice on this, so it may not be too functional, but hopefully everything will run smoothly and we will have a good morning. I got the count to weights in yesterday, and this is our first trial with this camera. Very first time, first trial with the S4. So enjoy it. Hopefully it will make it a little bit smoother, a little more enjoyable. We will see. Remember, it's something new, just like your phone. So we're gonna have to get used to it bit by bit. All right, for those travelers that do not like to see here, especially ones that are present in the island, the other ones that are not here yet, well, they really don't mind too much about the departures hall, but the ones that are here, Remember, every day that gets closer to you leaving here is another day closer to you returning. So I like to look at it as well. This airport is cooled tremendously by their big A dollar sign, dollar sign. I like to use that and not the actual spelling of it. Fans, we could call them the big butt fans, but you all know the real name for them. So beautifully cooled in here. Did a little walk through earlier on. Walk right down just to check it out and see. Yeah. One minute, ma'am. I got permission. Call your Judy. Yeah, ma'am. Just one second, please. Yeah, I am. Um, just one for. It's, it's a live video. I spoke your Judy manager. He already cleared and everything. Mr. Williams. Told, nobody told you. Nobody told you to advise anything. All right. Um, I am just an independent person. Folks, I'm going to get back to you in a minute. Just one minute. Okay, good morning to everyone again. Let's do this again. Followed all the protocols and everything, but unfortunately, the information didn't filter through to the security supervisor on so they're doing their job and so are we and as that is uh, one of the reasons we do the serenity prayer people is for situations like that we just stay cool stay relaxed stay peaceful people are just doing their jobs so we are back so let's try out this move for today along with the s21 ultra see how the two combinations work together uh, we did talk about the departures hall here and we did say about how a lot of you would be sad especially those on the island but don't worry about it because today we are going to look at it from our virtual reality standpoint. For those on the island, I have many friends are here right now. Don't worry folks, you'll be back soon. Just remember today is the day closer to your return. Just gonna do a little walk through. We did um, talk about these uh, big A dollar sign, dollar sign fans before. Has it here, really cool. I remember coming through here before these were installed on busy summer days and getting just scorch in this section all of the facilities are out here as well as on the inside so if you're coming to see your family members off or you just want to come and hang out at the airport don't know why you'd want to do that but just in case we have uh, different uh, they're called, they're called uh, the cafes the Italian coffee cafe then it's a downtown deli and downtown supermarket or convenience store so you can get anything you want here before you actually go into the departures if you want to eat something if you want to drink something 
if you want to purchase something you can do that out here I am not sure of the duty free facilities out here I would imagine they are but um, I'm not 100% sure not I know the duty free on the inside and if you have run low on money well we make sure you have plenty to spend leave some dollars here in Barbados is what we say <laughs> so good morning to you again this is not something that's normally done without written permission so I really thank as I said before, all of the connections at the Grand the Islands National Airport for making this possible. I called in this morning when I saw the inclement weather because I knew that we would not be able to do the beaches. Unfortunately, only stipulation um, is uh, I wear a mask and that's gonna muffle it. All of these water areas have been put in here to cool this section. Uh, it is really, really cool. You can notice at least a degree or two drop for any time you walk into this area here because all the wind is coming through these waterfalls. So you don't have to mind how hot it is on a set day. You can come here to the airport, chill out, have one of your cold beverages, whatever wets your lips, whatever you like, and also have some snacks. Crumbs is a pastry outlet. Some of the best pastries on the island, so you can have some really nice stuff here. Everyone knows Chefet. Chefet, Chefet is like saying Barbados, almost. There, I don't even know how many they are now. I know last time we lost count was off in about 15 restaurants. I'm sure they're way more than that now. And they have a few more that are coming online. Chefet is very, very popular here with locals and visitors. The rotis are a specialty. Everybody talks about those. Now I'm vegan, so the only thing I eat from here is French fries, and that's pretty much it. But for all those that like the sweet tooth or, or even the good meals, chicken, etc., you can come and get it here. No problem You're waiting on your aircraft on the outside. There are announcements all day long from the PA system. Um, the ones I've heard this morning seem to be very clear, easy to follow, so it wouldn't be a problem in coming to chill out right here. No reason to go inside if you want to just cool and get your last bits of Barbados before you step into air conditioning. I would just warn you though that the lines and the procedures now are way more stringent than they used to be. So getting into the departures hall is obviously going to be more time consuming, so please manage your time correctly. Though we love you in the island, we don't want you staying here because you miss your aircraft. That is not why we want you here. We want you here when you can be. So we're going to have two videos up today, a part A and a part B. You saw the part A, you're not seeing the part B. But uh, you know, that's just how life is. And you know, it's sometimes good to, to have those situations arise to show how we deal with them. You know, we, we are a very peaceful, loving community and we understand there are protocols in place and sometimes they may not be the way we want it to be but that is life we have to remember that all the time adequate restroom facilities all over here there's one up by the departure counters there's another one here um, there's another one down inside just beyond the arrivals hall you can see there's lots of stuff here going on platinum services only good mentions to say about that if you go through them you will come through here in a flash they offer great services I am not sure of everyone that offers services here like theirs. So please don't say that I'm ignoring them or forgetting them. I just I honestly don't know them. I'm not too familiar with it. When I come through, I just come through the regular way. The Barbados line is very quick. So locals are returning, come through quickly. The, I looked at the arrivals board this morning. I don't know how updated it is, um, but I only saw like three aircraft coming in. The first one is around 10 o'clock or so or 10.30. Um, but I don't know if that's not updated, so I'm not too sure. But as you can see, there's some guys here that line up from early. These are here all night just to make sure and make a dollar or provide a service where they can. So these are organized taxis at the airport. So all these guys are official taxi guys. When you're coming to this island, please, I would recommend, unless you're getting a friend to pick you up, to utilize the services that are here. The taxi guys, the dispatchers, they will provide you with original, authentic taxis from this airport guys that are licensed to operate here there are a lot of guys that sometimes make their way in here and do illicit trading um, so please be wary of that just to give you an indication of the rates and stuff these are all quoted in Barbados dollars um, you know I they're basically what they were last time so if you've traveled recently there's no real difference to the rates that are here and they will cover anywhere in the island these are just general layout areas but they're areas that fall in between that would obviously fall to the furthest tariff point uh, from, for that location. Departures and arrivals information. Um, we know I now see four up. We also have an American that's been added to that this afternoon. First flight, as I said, is 10.30 this morning. Coming in from Dominica. And then we have a couple other regional ones, Grenada, St. Vincent, and then Miami. 
as you can appreciate everything is very very slow here but for those that started with a little disappointment and stuff for those that are going to be coming this way in a few weeks time remember people when you arrive in Barbados I am waiting to walk with you so please remember to give me a shout this is where you come through I won't be here to meet you but there'll be tons of people waiting to meet you and greet you and welcome to this island I actually am enjoying the walk through here with no one around. It is very, very comfortable. You know this airport? Imagine we're at an airport doing a video. That's strange. <laughs> you know, it's not normal. But then again, the EMC is not normal. We flow with the tides and we have a wonderful time doing whatever we do. Very, very quiet up here. All right, tons of rental car companies, as you can see. All of these companies I know for sure have offered great services to anyone that I've put them on to in the past. I'm not just saying that because they're here. Remember, this is never, ever, ever a paid advertisement. This is my viewpoints on what I experience. If I do not experience what I am telling you, I will not mention it. I will leave it alone. All of our operators here with their meet and greet facilities, as you can see. And just incidentally, I only put up those aircraft this morning on our notice because that's all I could get my hands on in the time that I had, which was quite limited. So I just put up the uh, airlines that I could find. But there are many more. It wasn't, again, a paid publicity. It was just what I was doing this morning, trying to get things going quickly. Ross University, as you all know, that is a branch here located now, School of Medicine. That's just on Coverley, which is approximately, I would say, maybe a kilometer from here. They have the entire Coverley area. At Coverley, you can also find all the facilities there, doctor's office, convenience store, supermarket, tons of different restaurants and, and all kinds of stuff. They have a gym located there as well. Really nice gym. I've used it in the past, but too lazy to continue with that now. And this is where the tour coaches and stuff will be parked if you do arrive coming in with an organized group. So, folks, I'm going to walk a little bit further on here just to get out of range of the airport itself. So I can greet you and give you a smile. I don't think there'll be any problem right here. Um, so good morning to you again. Thank you for joining me. It's something very different. Weather conditions here in Barbados, Barbados last night were extremely different from normal. We had lots of lightning. I'm sure you'll see some of the videos that are posted up there from our same members and stuff. Different conditions for sure, but conditions that we needed. We needed this rain drastically. So one more time, I'm just gonna carry you around here. We did say the serenity prayer earlier this morning, but as we had um, two different videos on, and as you know, we may not have seen everyone that's on here now earlier on, let's do the serenity prayer again so we can go forward in peace today. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. So folks, as always, I'm going to ask you please to go forward in peace today. Remember those around you, for example, what we saw this morning. Um, you know, these people just were not informed and it is their duty to do what they did. So remember that when people come and confront you sometimes, it's something we may not understand or we may not see. So what we need to do sometimes is just express a little humanity, uh, humi humility and humanity. Greet people the right way, talk to people and everything will be fine. If we're disrupted from what we're doing, it's not a problem. That's what life is all about. Life is about challenges. Life is about how we deal with those challenges. And if we have God in our lives, we will know we have to be patient and we have to forgive people sometimes and we have to recognize that people are doing the best that they can. People are facing conditions nowadays that are unknown. We're in uncharted waters. I'd like to speak a little bit of the cruise industry line. You know, so our logo, limbo, sorry. We're just trying to have a good time. So we're all in limbo right now. We don't already know what's going on. No one really is sure of what tomorrow will bring. So let's live for today. Let's enjoy today. Do not live in tomorrow, um, in tomorrow and certainly do not live in yesterday. Whatever happened to you yesterday is behind us now. We don't have to worry about that. Learn from it and move on. You all have a peaceful day. I wish you all the best. Um, you know, I ask you to go forward in peace. I want you to know that I love you with all my heart. You all have a fantastic time. And don't forget me when you come to Barbados. I am here. I am a, a real, genuine person. I'm not a person on Facebook only. I'm a person that likes to come out and meet all of my friends. I have some friends the island who I've been spending some time with. You know, they were my first family that I've actually spent time with here on the island, and I had a marvelous time. And you know, for all of you, again, I'll just let you see the airport. It is, 
really a little difficult to carry you on a, on a 360 up here, a silent 360, because there's not much to hear, but I will do just that. That's something very different today, people. But who said that we had to be? Who said that we had to do what others do? Who said that we had to do what is expected? It's us to make our own destiny. But we have to follow someone that will lead us the correct way. So, my my own thinking is I will follow God, and I'm hoping that some of you all will as well. You all have a fantastic day. God bless you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you all tomorrow again.